Victor. Scott, thank you so much for your time. Listen, I know you're very busy. I'll be as brief as possible. So I'm just going to dive right in. My first question. Why is this show called From? Why is the show called From? I wish I had an answer. I don't have an answer to that. You know, I mean, there's so many theories out there. And I generally tend to, I mean, I don't really theorize because I, I don't think Victor does. What do you think is the biggest similarity between you and your character, Victor? <laughs> um, what was the biggest similarity? I don't know. Maybe that we can, we can sometimes both act like petulant children. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I think I think that Victor is, you know, is uh, it's is is uh, you know, I'm I'm doing all this work to try and st step into this this wonderful wondrous character, this enigma. And yet, you know, it's it's just still so f full of me. I think, you know, uh uh we're we're very close in a number of ways. My next question is, how did you prepare for this role? And what research did you do to fully understand your character's perspective? Um, well, I was, you know, I'm, I was just given the, the blessing of the character of Victor in, in, at the beginning of this whole journey. And, and, uh, and I wasn't given a lot in terms of character description. Uh, I was given the, uh, uh, the seed of his trauma, uh, which we saw in episode one, which was that he was left alone in Fromville and uh, and had survived there many years by himself. Uh, and so I had to fill in a lot of uh, a lot of blanks on my own. Um, uh, you know, and uh, and John Griffin will always always give us any of us in the cast as much as we need to know for that particular episode or that particular moment. Um, but, uh, with Victor, uh, you know, he is, he is as described by John, a, an unreliable narrator to himself. So, so I was able to kind of go and, and detail a past for myself instead of my own imagination and what John gave me and, and sort of did that. Um, it's just the way that I like to work. I'm, uh, I'm, I, I love, I love details, details, and details, uh, and had the seat of his trauma, of course. And then, um, you know, I spent weeks before I started shooting, just uh, just sort of, you know, playing around with everything, uh, uh, you know, with my coach um, to see and then as organically as possible, what kind of person I could come uh, would come out of, you know, this work that we were doing based on, let's say, just the seed of this trauma. And um, and Victor's, you know, voice, his music, that was always kind of there from the beginning when I, I had auditioned originally for the part. Um, so we had that to start with as well. And then each new episode, of course, gives me, you know, all this, uh, uh, there's, there's always something new, you know, even in this, this past season, you know, the violin, uh, the reveal of Eloise that I had a sister, you know, and, uh, and, and just all these, uh, all these golden eggs, this information that just helps me, um, I just add to this this giant canvas that uh, that is that is Victor. Uh, but because we're not given these any particular parameters to the character, um, it's uh, it's just an ongoing exploration um, and a, and a pretty fascinating one. How did you prepare for the emotional scenes, like when Victor shows Tabitha Eloise's drawings? Yeah, that was um, that was. Uh, I didn't know about that event, um, and I didn't know that about Victor until the script arrived in my hand. And I sat down and I read that maybe just a couple of weeks before we shot it, a few weeks before we shot it. So I had that time leading up to, you know, to really delve into what, you know, what what that kind of pain would would be. And, you know, I did a little bit of research in terms of that that you know that kind of trauma and loss and whatever else. And then I also just you know, the imagination. And, concentration and I, I, uh, I just allowed myself to go in and, and, and explore what that would be for Victor, just create something for myself. Uh, uh, you know, um, it's not to say that I wasn't scared about shooting it on the day. Um, it's, uh, it's it, it can be certainly scary in our minds to go to those places, but 
we have uh, such a beautiful gang of people in Little Land of Love there, and I'm on, you know, I'm with Catalina, and you know, uh, um, Brad Turner was directing that uh, episode, and um, it was a very safe environment to come in and just allow myself to go as far as I possibly could, and uh, yeah, that's how that arrived. How has this role changed you as an actor, as a person, you know, if at all? Um, that's an amazing question. Um, each role does that in some way, you know, each role, uh, and I think if you, you know, you really commit and, and, and push yourself to go further, um, you, you'll guarantee you'll have, you'll have a creatively heightened experience and maybe learn something about yourself. I mean, that's the beauty I think of just the, of acting, um, you know, and, and as fascinating as it is, as a study of of human life in in uh, in whatever circumstances you know that, that are within the context of the of the play or the film the tv show that you're doing in the case of victor oh man i would just say uh, uh, um it's it's just given me it's given me this you know this 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 canvas where i feel like where there really are no parameters. And in terms of Victor, and, and, uh, you know, as an enigma and, and the trauma that he's been through, I really feel like I can go in so many directions in so many places. And I, it's, it's exciting and it's terrifying sometimes, but um, very gratifying, uh, you know, in the support system that we have with the, you know, with the, uh, with the creative team, and the cast, the crew. Where I can go in and and uh, and just have the ability to to explore all of that, um, uh, and push myself further as an actor, and and John Griffin and uh, and Jeff Painter as they come up with these you know these these stories these arcs and and uh, uh, keep dropping these bombs on me all the time. It always pushes me further, and I uh, and I uh, and I just appreciate that. I love the challenge, and uh, and um, and uh, and I and I. And I always end up having a creatively heightened experience. Can you share any insight into the creative or the collaborative process? Any discussions you may have had with the show's writers and directors regarding Victor's storyline? Well, you know, it, what usually happens is, it, is that the script drops and then, um, you know, there's like a thousand questions. Uh, of course, and all of us always want to know more, or we always want to know what's coming. Uh, but um, they're so great about talking about it, and so transparent about um, about everything, about everything you know involving the show. And so, you know, uh, John <clears throat> uh, will meet with any cast members and sit there. He wants to know everything, also too, the, the work that we're doing on our end. He wants to know about everything from what music we're listening to, to, uh, you know, to, to what theories we may have, um, to any, you know, ideas that, that we have. He's crafting. It starts to happen naturally with writers and actors too, right? Things start to happen and, they, you know, you're, you're sort of taking, you get their, your impression from what they're giving you, but they're also, you know, they may hear you do something or see you do something that then, you know, kind of leads them down another path and gives them an idea for something. So. That collaboration is is uh, is is uh, is not only um, you know, key; it's vital, I think, to uh, um, to the uh, to the show, to the entity, uh, and that's what's happening. And it's really exciting. And John is a, is an incredibly brilliant and uh, um, generous creator and writer um, who who makes you feel like you're part of that ride. Well, thank you so very much. I really appreciate your time. Thank you so much. Um, I know you're very busy. I really appreciate it. And I can't wait to talk to you about season three. <laughs> I, I know I had to begin that one. Anyway, thanks for joining me. If you're new here, please do me a favor. Hit that like button. Hit Yo, hit that like button. Make sure you subscribe. Turn on those notifications because we're going to be doing this from now until season three. Otherwise, I'm going to have to check you guys later. Peace.